and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the R case stumbling bear and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to do another book review for one of our self-published science fiction contest semi-finalists that we were giving. This time it is Reaper by Elliot Pepper. This is a near future thriller, so very much crosses the genres of science fiction and thriller mystery aspects. This is a multiple point of view story of different entrepreneurs, different creators that all have an investment firm called Human Capital in common. We do jump between perspective and perspective. We follow Jeff, who is one of the original entrepreneurs that was chosen by this company. We follow Luki, who has been with them for a little bit and is now looking to branch a little bit further. And then we follow Devin, who is new, just started. And we follow Sansom, who is the head of human capital. So we get a variety of points of view. And then we have some other points of view kind of scattered in. And Sansom from human capital brings them these creators and other creators all that he funds all together for a annual trip and then people talk to one another those who have tensions with human capital those things start to come out so for a pro i thought that the science fiction elements were very interesting and a lot of the science feels like it's just beyond where we are currently, which makes sense because again, it's near future. So it is based off of technology and items we have now, but a little bit further. Yeah, just but a few steps further, which makes it feel like a very plausible universe to be in. A con is the characters have a lot of internal dialogue that kind of detracts from the action of the story especially because as it's a thriller, you're expecting to have more movement. And the first third of the book does feel a little bit slow as the author is setting up all the pieces for everything else. And the first third is all about getting these characters onto the cruise ship for their yearly, or yeah, for their annual like meetup. A pro is the characters have very diverse backgrounds and you feel it in the way they express themselves and the and their internal thoughts. Yeah, I know I just said we got a lot of that, but we do get to see that they're very distinct people and they react differently to their circumstances. It was never something where if I picked up and didn't know who I was reading right away by the what how they were thinking, I could figure it out pretty quickly. And this next one it depends what you like for your pros, whether it's a con or, or a pro, but it is the, the, the language is intentional and it, while it doesn't get to be purple prose, it is very, I would say more on the literary flowery writing style, which I think worked for the book, but I can see people being turned off of that as well. A pro, I think the author was very good at describing surroundings and placing the reader in a sense of place. Like when we were on the Galap Galapagos, like when we were on the Galapagos Islands, you felt like you were there. And I've never actually been there, but I could feel like I had been. Same thing when they were in San Francisco, you felt that that's where you were. You know, when you were on the cruise ship, you felt like it was on the cruise ship. There was no descriptions of huge rooms. No, like it was practical. And so I know that the author has done extensive traveling themselves, and I can see that their travels have allowed them to put reality into the book in a way to keep things, to keep the world feeling round and whole. A con for me was the pacing. Like I said, the first third is kind of slow as everything is set up. And then we have a middle third where they're on their trip. And again, we're still kind of getting to the setup of everything that's going on. 
but now everyone's meeting and mingling and talking. And so you do feel that tension wrap up, but then it, it really goes in that last third where it's like, boom, 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 and like everything's happening. So I think this is just a pacing style that most um, people from the United States aren't used to, for one thing. Um, it's really more of a three-act structure where you have your setup, you have the muddy middle, and then you have all the end action. And while I, I do think that the payoff at the end of the book, like the conclusion really, you know, is satisfying, I think the pacing to get there made it a little bit more difficult for the, to read it. The pacing was one of the things that was easy for me to not pick up the book to continue reading while life stressors were going on because this was a book that I definitely needed to pay more attention to, which isn't a bad thing. Um, different science fiction, you have your fluff that you can just go along for the ride, and then you have your more thought-provoking, and this falls in that more thought-provoking side, but because of how the pacing was, I never was feeling like I had to come back to the book. Overall, I really enjoyed this book. This is definitely one that, like I said, getting to the conclusion made everything worth it. And I think this is one that I will want to go back and reread and then see if on a reread, if it works better for me, especially since I had hiccups reading it the first time. But like I said, overall, I really enjoyed it. It paid off well for me. And when I got to the end, I could see like the little promises that the author had put at the beginning and then paid off. So if you like thrillers, well, I do think this, this is probably more for thriller readers. So if you really like thrillers and you like sci-fi with your thriller, definitely pick it up. If you like, if you're more of a sci-fi reader, but don't really like thrillers, I would say read the first couple chapters, see if you're interested, but I don't know if it would necessarily work for you. If you have read this book before, I would love to know your comments down below. Thank you and have a great day. <music>